hello now in this video we are going to see another interesting way of making that cube object but this time we will use precise movement or uh, placement of our object by copy pasting it and using the numeric values fine for reference if you have your cube object you can see its location over here and there is also a transform toolbox which comes up over here like you can say that this as a shortcut key n this comes up so this is a transform one with which also you can play around anyways so now what we are going to do is we are going to go to the front view first and let's make a copy of this cube now this cube is two by two so first thing i will do is i will move this cube one copy on the right hand side one on the left hand side this one is positive value one is negative value so let's do that Let's make a copy, Control C, Control V, and now this time I'll just press Enter and leave it here. Now grab that cube and in X axis move it by 2.1. Similarly, let's make another copy, Control C, Control V, grab on X axis by minus 2.1. Okay. Now similarly, what I will do is I will make copies towards the top side and towards the bottom side so this is the front view now this time what we will do is we will take all these three cubes together control c control v and now i will grab this on z axis by 2.1 so all these three will be moved upwards similarly let's do that again control c control v grab on z axis by minus 2.1 Fine. Now this way what is happening is all the spaces between are exactly equal. Now let us select all of these. Now if you look at it, one side is ready. And let's go to the side view. Fine. We'll just make sure only the cubes are selected and nothing else. Okay. Now let's do the same operation. Since nine of them are selected, I'll press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, grab on Y axis. 2.1 again we will make sure all these cubes are selected go to the side view grab on y this time minus 2.1 oh sorry i didn't make a copy of that let me do a control c control v grab on y by minus 2.1 okay here so, so you can see we have 27 cubes, 26 is the last one, 0 cube is this and our cube is now ready again. So using this mechanism you can do precise movements or placements of your object very easily. Okay.